dog's name is Maggie, and she was initially my husband's dog, so when I got married, I ended up having a daughter, a little doggy daughter, um, and that's how I came to my dog. I got Rocky when I was in college at Texas A&M, I don't know, and uh, he was a rescue dog from the ASPCA, I think. He rode, he rode to my house on my sister's pregnant belly, and that's why she, that's why she and my nephew and him really get along together. So, I actually made a mature decision, you know. I waited a month, I went to Austin Animal Center, AAC, go AAC, hashtag. Uh, and after about three months of looking, I found the perfect dog. Look, look at, look at buddy. He's an Australian Kelpie. So my dog is a blue-nosed pit bull and she's as sweet as can be. Um, she's a licker though. She loves to lick. He's four years old, he's a miniature pincher and mixed with something else. A lot of times what we go do is we go run together. We go, uh, when I go on a trail, he'll just kind of follow me sometimes. Um, I'm trying to teach him how to swim, but he's not very good since he's a little small dog. He really loves people. He does not like to stay still and he's really friendly with everybody he meets. He's not a good guard dog, but he's a very good friend dog. So she loves to do tricks for treats. Uh, she loves to go out and sunbathe and play with the cat. So we'll take her on walks and play outside, but she also likes to sleep a lot. <laughs> well, when I, when I went to, to, to check him out, there were three dogs I wanted to play with. The first two had bitten people. <laughs> so I'm like, so yeah, I'll, I'll check out, you know, no name. So he was found, look, oh, he's never barked, doesn't bark. I tell people I trained that. All right, so, so yeah, he was found in a box in Pflugerville. Like, um, and my vet said he was not beaten, thank goodness. Uh, uh, but he was just neglected. You know, I think I did him a bigger service by getting him in South Austin from from, uh, from Pflugerville. He agrees. So, quiet down. <laughs>